Should the material on an umbrella absorb, which means to soak up, or repel, which means to push away water? What do you think would best keep you dry? Before answering, let's explore how different materials interact with water. What happens when you spill water on a t-shirt? What observations do you have? Did the water soak all the way through his shirt? Do you think he can feel the water on his skin? Did the t-shirt absorb the water? You can pause and discuss if you'd like. What happens when you spill water on a rain jacket? Why didn't the water soak through the raincoat? Did the raincoat absorb or repel the water? Let's dig deeper. Are t-shirts and raincoats made from the same material? No, t-shirts and raincoats are made from different materials. T-shirts are often made from a cotton fabric. Raincoats can be made from a type of plastic. Here is a t-shirt placed over a bowl. Is the shirt absorbing or repelling the water? The water was absorbed by the shirt. There was so much water it soaked all the way through and collected in the bowl. Water also soaks through other materials like paper towel. See the water in the bowl? Here is the raincoat placed over a bowl. Watch carefully. Is the water soaking through the raincoat? See the water on the raincoat? No water went into the bowl. This is because the raincoat repels or pushes away the water. Wiping up water from the raincoat is easy. But when water is spilled on a t-shirt, you cannot just wipe it up. The shirt will take a long time to dry. Note that it's much easier for water to soak through thin materials. You can see the water spot here on both sides of this cloth napkin. The water soaked through that thin napkin. But it would take a lot of water to soak through this thick pillow. You can see the pillow is absorbing the water. But since the other side is dry, it means the water did not soak all the way through the pillow. Here's a pillow without a pillowcase. One side is wet, but the other side is dry because it is so thick. We've now explored materials that absorb and repel water. Let's go back to our original question. Should the material on an umbrella absorb or repel water, which will keep you dry. What do you think? Which of these would make the best material for an umbrella? Why? Paper towel, plastic, or cardboard? Which of these would make the worst material for an umbrella? And why? You can pause and discuss if you'd like. Thinking further, there are lots of other good questions to think about. I hope you continue to explore what it means to absorb and what it means to repel.